All right, we have a graph of y is equal to f of x, and we want to figure out what is the limit of f of x as x approaches negative three. And if we just look at x equals negative three, it's really hard to see, at least based on how this graph looks, how, what f of negative three is. And if anything, it looks like we, has, we have an asymptotic discontinuity here. It looks like on the left side of x equals negative three, it looks like we're approaching, uh, I guess you could say infinity, and on the right side, it looks like we're approaching infinity as well. And we could just look at that, we could say, well look, what is f of negative five? Well, it's four. F of negative four is, looks like it's around, I don't know, around eight. F of negative three is off the charts. F of negative, if we continued with this trend, and if we were to asymptote towards this line right over here, this vertical asymptote, it looks like as we get closer and closer to negative three, that the value of the function at that point is approaching, is getting closer and closer to infinity. At least that's what it looks like from what we can see on this graph as we approach negative three from the left-hand side. Well, let's think about what's as we approach negative three from the right-hand side. So this is f of negative one, f of negative two, f of negative 2.5, looks like it's up here someplace. X, f of negative 2.9 would be even higher. F of negative 2.999, it looks like it would just, once again, approach infinity. So this type of limit, in some context, you would say that this limit doesn't exist, doesn't doesn't exist in the formal uh, sense. So that's one way to think about it. In some, in some contexts, you will, people, you will uh, hear people say that this limit, since from the left and from the right, it looks like it's going to infinity. Sometimes you will see people say that it is approaching infinity. And so this is depending on what type of a class, what type of a context you're in. But in the traditional sense of the limit, or in the technical sense, there, there are ways that you can define limits where this would make a little bit more sense. But in the, in the, t the traditional definition of a limit, it would be, you would say, that this limit uh, does not exist.